Hi, I'm Andrew and I'm with Baker's Gas. Uh, here today we got our Maxstar 161. So in this video we're going to go over some of the accessories uh, that the 161 offers. There's three different models and I'll go through those and then we'll go over some functionality. I'll plug it in. Um, so let's dive right on in. So the Maxstar 161, this, this kit here is in the STL uh, with the contractor's package. So it comes with this nice box. There is a kit out there that does not come with this. It's just machine only with accessories. Um, but this one also has the fingertip control. So I'll open this up a very nice case. Um, people love them. I mean, they are durable. They're in, they hold everything. You can put all your stuff right inside this box, plus welding rod, plus TIG consumables, that sort of thing. So this machine, as you can see, very small. I mean, it, very portable, very nice. I, uh, I've welded a lot with these Max Towers, and even the older editions, the 140s, the 150s, but I've welded with the 161, and they have very nice machines. So what you get in this, so you get the contractor kit, with the thumb control for your remote amperage for your TIG torch. TIG torch, obviously, and then you get two plugs. So they kind of change this up a little bit, but you got the 110 plug, and then you got the 220 plug. And then you get your ground, and your stick up toilet holder. So then there's some, uh, uh, you know, charts in the box that kind of go over weld parameters, that sort of thing. But on this machine, we'll get it plugged in here. On the back of it, Basically, this thing is just the new adapter. Goes in one way, and it clicks when it goes in. So now it's in there. This is your gas port for your gas hose, which is in the box, and uh, regulators in the box as well. So that's for the TIG torch. So this one's an STL. So what that means is stick TIG lift arc. They make another model called STH, which is stick TIG high frequency start. So you don't have to have lift arc on that unit. Then they make just a stick only package, which is just the S model. Um, and you would only get your stick stuff with it. And it wouldn't have TIG capability. So if you're ever gonna TIG weld, the minimum you'd have to get is the STL model. So I plugged her in here. So this unit, obviously it's a 160 amp unit. Um, power, got the standby, turn it on, it says Max R161. And then lift, and we're at 130 amps. So very, very nice little machine. We got our TIG setting, we got our stick setting, and we got 6010 stick setting. So it does have a 6010 output. So what that does is bumps the OCV up off your work studs there, and then you can run 6010 with this unit. Um, this is for your remote amperage control, so your, your finger torch, your fingertip control would plug in right there and then you would string it up your TIG torch and usually people either electrical tape, zip tie, they do make covers that you can run that through. Well the most common one's probably electrical tape and they take it all the way up there and then they put the remote control on the back of the TIG torch. So pretty nice little setup. You got your positive and negative terminals. Um, it does have some memory settings so let's toggle down. So you can when you push that button it toggles through the thing so we're on lift our TIG stick that's 7018 and then we got our 6010 setting so very simple machine and like i said very portable a lot of guys that i know that have them uh, are contractors so they're up in man lifts or boom lifts and uh, up ladders and they throw that over their shoulder they got their fingertip control they got their gas hose running up to them and they just plug it in and they're all set but all in all very nice machine uh, so on 110 we get maximum on tick we only get 130 amps and we'll go up to, back up there maximum on stick output is 90 amps so to run 8th inch 7018 you got to bump up to, to the 220 cord and it'll go up to 160 amps on 220 on both tig and stick so very nice machine um and like i said portable and what we see a lot of traction is uh contractors or guys that are doing machine building and we also see a lot of uh, farm use too and actually uh, uh, it's, it would be a great machine on the farm because it is so portable and you could plug it into a generator or a wall outlet and go right to welding so very nice unit if this isn't enough output for you um, they do make a maxstar 210 280 400 and 800 but obviously those are going to be not as portable as the 161 
um, but they do make other Magstar um, models out there. So if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Um, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more.